Hey guys, Chris McClellan, the Joy Connector, out here in Idlewild, my favorite little spot, and I am here with some spiritual guidance to add to your spiritual toolbox for the day. Telling the truth, the radical truth with yourself, radical honesty, <coughs> and the value with doing that. So we've all had those moments, I know you have, because I have, where I recognize a truth, some thought comes into my head while I'm in an experience, but I am not ready to deal with the consequences, so I bury that sucker. I just note it for myself and then get quiet. Because I am not ready to deal with the consequences. I'm a little afraid, ooh, shoot, what does that mean about me? Oh no, what does that mean in general? Um, oh no, that's not what I want. But it's the truth. It's what's coming through. So what happens if we explore the radical truth with ourselves? We get free. We get peace. We get self-esteem. And then what happens when you share that with another person? You get intimacy. Connection vulnerability, trust, meaning. Hmm. It sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Okay. So um, why don't we just start with the truth with ourselves? We're so afraid of what it means, and it might mean something bad. Um, does this mean I'm a bad person if I feel like this? That's it. That's the first place I went. Does this mean I'm a bad person? Oh, shoot. That's not good. When somebody tells you they love you and your first thought is, huh, hmm, and it is not to say it in return, but to deeply consider the answer, hmm. <laughs> that's information. That's information. For me, that's some indication of like, well, you know how you really feel. It's not that. But you are trying to consider what's the right answer here and how is it going to serve me and this other person. Hmm. How about honesty? How would that serve you and the other person? How could I handle those consequences? What would that look like? Hmm. You see where I'm going with this, you guys? This is where self-esteem comes from. It comes from alignment with self, honesty with self, truth with self, and with another person. That's how I get peace. Um, when people come to me with anxiety, and most do, in addition to whatever else they're working on, there's some level of anxiety, it's fear to tell themselves the truth or to live with the truth or to be with the truth out loud. Once I face my darkest, scariest fear, and we always go there in our work together, in my spiritual work, once I face my darkest truth, which for me, I'll tell you exactly what it looks like. My darkest truth looks like the dark. I was always afraid of the dark as a kid. Now I understand what that was about. But I have this image of myself as an infant standing up in a crib in a dark room. The room feels airless, feels like there is no water, no food, no connection, and no one's ever gonna come to get me. I'm gonna be in there in the dark without air, food, water, or light by myself forever and that's a place where I ultimately want to um, die I don't want to live through that it feels so bad so here's something interesting when I sit with that and acknowledge it and see it for what it is and not avoid it or not chase answers that might help me avoid it or chase scenarios that might help me avoid that try to create solutions around it, but actually just to be with it, I get to see its truth. Here's its truth. You and I are always connected in union because that's how I was born. We were all born human. Our humility connects us to our humanity. 
because I'm a human, I'm forever connected to you. So I will never be disconnected here on this planet. I'll never be totally alone. I'll always be part of the human race. And then if you look at my communities, I'm a part of those communities. So I'm even more deeply connected. And then you look at my friends and family, which may grow and shift and change, but they're there. So the truth is I'm always connected in union, but it's that disconnect that I get to go back to and understand what's happening here and what am I telling myself and what's the real truth. So when I get to live with that radical honesty, that truth, know that I'm always safe in that way, we're always connected, I'm always part of the human race, then really whatever comes after that, I can live with that truth. I can face that truth. How and when might be a question, it might take me a minute, but I can always live with it, right? I can always live with that truth. So, hmm, so now what, right? So now what? Now it starts to get interesting because now I get to be really honest with you. And that puts us in deeper connection. And isn't that what I want? Um, this is the kind of vulnerability that breeds intimacy and meaning and fulfillment and a fulfilling, meaningful, vulnerable, loving relationship is a really beautiful thing to experience in this lifetime that I don't want to miss out on. So try a little radical honesty first with yourself and see where that goes. And you might even try it in a notebook. Try writing it down and then try bravely speaking it out loud with a trusted friend who agrees to hear and receive you for maybe five minutes or 10 minutes. You decide and see if they're open to that. And if they are, go for it. Go for it with them. Speak it out loud and see what happens. Or say it in front of your own eyes in the mirror and see what happens. Then you can decide who and how you want to share that with. But I promise you that's where your peace and freedom awaits. Okay, my love, how are you going to try to live in radical honesty and give yourself a little more peace, freedom, and love in this lifetime? So, um, from this beautiful perch in Idlewild, I'll see you next time. Bye.